Hey, I'm David Arquette, and I'm answering some questions for Callie Junkins, who's a freshman at Presque Isle High School, and uh, it's for her journalism class, and I'm answering some of the questions the students asked as well. So let's start with the first one. How did I get into acting, or how did I become an actor? A lot of people ask me this question because I think most of the time people want to be actors or want to be famous. So you have to uh, ask yourself why you want to be an actor or famous. Um, if it's just to be famous, there's a lot of ways to be famous now. You could be famous on the internet, uh, on social media. You can be an influencer on all kinds of things. You can be famous in other forms of business. Uh, you could be a famous teacher. You could be a famous doctor. So there's a lot of ways to be famous. But if you want to be an actor specifically, and to answer the question, how did I get into it? My family was in, into it. I'm uh, fourth generation. This is, let's see, where's my grandfather? This is my grandfather, Charlie Weaver. He uh, even had a toy he made, a bartender. That's like a drawing of him. But his, uh, oh, those are his parents and they're from vaudeville so my sisters are actors as well uh it goes back four generations so i had a foot in the door but uh nobody just lets you have it i started doing school plays uh i really uh found an incredible teacher named ben debaldo in high school who really inspired me but then i learned it's all about the work all of it's about the work. It's about studying other actors. It's about studying films. It's about uh, studying different plays and monologues. It's about doing improvisational classes, doing as many plays as you can, even working behind the scenes in plays and learning that stuff. It's just always everything you should do should be geared toward it so that you uh, put yourself in the best position for when the opportunities start coming because there's a ton of rejection within acting. So it's really uh, means a lot to put the time in, work on it, do uh, like with phones nowadays, you can shoot your own stuff. You can write your own stuff. You can edit your own stuff. You can do short films. You can submit short films to film festivals. You know, there's a lot of opportunity out there, but it all takes a lot of work and dedication question is what kind of jobs did I start out with uh, I had a bunch of jobs as a kid I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about I sold maps to stars homes <laughs> as silly as that sounds and I worked at a newsstand uh, but my first acting role was a TV show called The Outsiders um, I'd done a couple short films and some school plays before that uh, that gave me the confidence to book my first job as an actor and that was based on a film, The Outsiders. Uh, we did 13 episodes, single camera, which means it's just sort of, it's called single camera, even if they use two, but it's shot like a movie. That's what that means. And then um, my second job was Parenthood, which was also based on a movie. And that was a half hour show uh, shot on one camera, like a movie. And so after the, that first couple years, I had a, well, it was pretty much like three, four years. I had a really good sense of the camera and how to work with the camera. And the plays gave me a lot of confidence and, and uh, training as well. The third question is, is acting as scary as it seems? Uh, it can be very scary to get on stage or get in front of people, in front of a class even. But uh, once you do training, you get a little more confident. Acting is all about confidence. So you really have to have confidence when you're acting. You really have to uh, be prepared, know your craft. You do all the work beforehand so that you have the confidence to really stand up in front of the camera and uh, own your moment, find your moment, be comfortable in your skin. But is it scary? It can be. <laughs> there can be really scary stuff about acting. The fourth question is, is it difficult to get into character for an acting role? Um, 
different roles are different uh, things. Sometimes you're miscast. If you're miscast in something, it's really hard to get into the role because you're trying to do something that you're probably not suited for. That's happened a couple of times. That's really difficult. But um, no, it's one of the my favorite parts is being able to research things. If you're playing characters that really exist in the world or existed, uh, it's great because sometimes you can do research on them. You can actually see them or hear their voice. And then you can start picking up mannerisms of theirs. Um, if it's a character you're creating, you try to find like where they're from, uh, sort of what you know, what sign they'd be or like what traits they'd have. If you find, uh, you know, if they're from a certain region, you'll find their dialect. Uh, and then you can find things from different time periods that might have been popular, that they might have liked. You can listen to that kind of music on the set uh, while you're rehearsing, while you're studying your lines. You can read books that they may have read. There's a lot of fun research to do. That's one of my favorite parts of acting. So this is my fifth and final question. I want to thank Callie and I want to thank everyone at Presque Isle High School. And uh, the question is, what advice would I give someone to help them succeed in the field of acting? And it goes back to what I said before. It's all about the work. So read books about acting, uh, read biographies on famous directors and actors and writers, do plays. Plays are really an incredible way to, to learn about acting, to learn the craft of, of, of stage play, do short films and films uh, yourself. Uh, do read books on filmmaking. The job of an actor is really to be real to connect with the audience in a way that they can feel for you, that they, they believe what you're, the character that you're portraying. So you really have to remain real. You have to remain true to yourself. I draw a lot of emotion and uh, performance from my past experiences. There was an incredible acting teacher named Roy London who said that every scene's about love. It's about a character's desire for love or lack of love or need for love or, you know, uh, desire to love this person or get them to believe what they're saying. It's a passion. And you should have a passion for acting if you want to go into it. Like I said also, there's a lot of rejection in, in acting and, and one of the main things you need to do a good performance is have confidence. So a lot of the time that chips away at your confidence, but you have to believe in yourself. You have to do all the work that it takes. And you have to really be driven. A lot of the points in my career where I sort of went off track is when I didn't, uh, you know, give it enough respect or do the work that I needed to do or really study my lines or really go after this audition and really prepare myself. So it's important to stay focused. Stay focused on your goals and really do everything every day, every minute of every day to go achieve your dreams. Never stop. You can do it if that's what you want to do. But it's not about being famous. It's about being real. And it's about connecting with somebody emotionally so that they can feel. Our job as actors is to help people have an emotional response. So I thank you very much, and I wish you guys all the best in whatever career you go into.